How can we make this a better experience? There was tons of hands-on research. I mean, when we were doing the garlic press, <clears throat> literally, you could pull up to the front of the building and you smelled garlic before you ever came in because we were just trying so many different products. And I use the garlic press as kind of an interesting, visceral, simple product, but it has to do a function, you know, very well and make you feel like you're in control of it and get a great result. So they wanted us to take that product make a new one, increase the capacity, increase the performance, use less material, increase the ergonomics and design and appeal. And we were able to actually use less material, even though it could crush larger capacity of garlic because of the way we designed and engineered it. So I use that as an example of we really dug into how can we make this a better experience? And so every product was like that. It was just, you know, a really fulfilling type of project to do for a brand because there was such diversity in the types of products that we could touch and affect. Design engineering has to really hold hands in these products because the design and the engineering is, that's all it is. It's all one thing. You know, another one that I get your attention as a company is the locking can opener we did. And, you know, what's the pain point with using a regular can opener? You got to crush through it you got to hold it tight and if you hold it too tight it doesn't turn it's just a feeling of not having control and so what we basically did was make it so that when you puncture the can it locks then all you have to do is just kind of hold the handle and turn and then we also included a little magnetic flip out thing that lets you pick up the lid and then knock it off so little innovations really good ergonomics and materials and here we are many years later on Amazon with the reviews looking at this going 32,000 positive reviews about people talking about their can opener. That's a big deal. I mean, wouldn't have predicted it, but I think that is, that is the definition of a successful product that exceeds expectations. The DNA and essence of kind of what we do at RKS is that we work in so many completely different areas, but I don't know, for me, it's if I can improve, solve, make a good product, I don't care how glamorous or how cool the product is. I think I get excited about taking simple products that have seen no innovation or attention and showing that they can be turned into something that you look at a completely different way and went, oh, wow.